We'll give it a minute for people to hop on. So I know sometimes people don't get notified right away. So give me a shout out if you're here. I'm going to pull it up all on my screen. Let's find it. All right. Oh, right there. That's what I want. I don't want all this. How do I get rid of that? That's weird. I don't see how to see the chat. Just a minute. Hi, so Terry. Hi, Carol. Yay. Okay, good. We got people here. That's fabulous. There we go. I see it now. Hi, guys. Welcome, welcome. Super last minute for me here. So bear with me. What's up, Lily? Yay. Okay, we're getting our crowd going here. That's awesome. Okay, do this. Ah, oh, there I am. Okay. Hello, Melanie. Hello, Valley. Jane, yay. Halloween. <laughs> um, Virginia, okay. Hi, guys. Um, I wanted to cut out a bag for a tutorial, um, that I want to do. It's the newest one from Shambhala called the Alondra. This is the beautiful little thing. Isn't that cute? I love her bag so much. It's just such a cool style. I love the thumb locks on it and I will be doing the thumb locks. You don't have to, you could easily, um, it, turn it into uh, magnetic snaps if you wanted or just like one turn lock down here in the center. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to because I really like it. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Melbourne, Australia. Yay. Hi, Allison. Okay. Ooh, that's fancy, right? It's fancy. Most of hers are fancy and I kind of love them. <laughs> Okay, I still have the coloring caddy from Studio 77, right? That's how, it, how you say it. Um, I have it all cut out and ready to go over here. So that will be the first one I record. Um, but then this one will be right after that. On lunch break. Oh, I wish you were cutting out patterns instead. Okay. So I had an idea. I, at one point, embroidered a couple of panels and I haven't used all of them. And I thought, what if I used a panel for this flap? It may work, it may not. It depends how much of the flap hangs over. So I already kind of tried to center it and get it on there as best I can. So I did this design a while ago and I know I posted the link for it. It's an Etsy on Etsy. Um, but I've really been wanting to use this embroidery panel. So I cut it out with the shape of my flap. I hope it looks nice. The little straps hopefully are gonna go right beside her. And this part will be folded up just a little bit, but I think it'll still look really nice. So there's my flap. I already cut that out. Um, right? Such a cool embroidery pattern. I love embroidery. I need to do it more. Um, <laughs> all right, just trimming off the back of that. That looks really good. So I'm going to do this and because I'm doing this, do you see how it has the, the teal and that like mustardy yellow? Well, guess what? <laughs> so I am kind of doing quite a few colors. I'm going to do these. The black will be my, I haven't decided either my straps or I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure which I'm going to do first. And then for my inside, I think I have enough of this for my inside. We will see. I don't know. I don't know if there's enough. And that's it. So we're just going to sit and chat and cut this out and have some fun. And yeah, this is the faux. Okay. So this is the Kaya. This is the Kaya line from Indo. I have so much of her stuff. I've been using it a ton. 
Uh, the Kaya is just a little bit different. It feels a little bit more leathery um, and not as much suede. So this one's a Kaya. I think this one's a Kaya. And this one's a faux suede. This is the Seafoam Green and the Raven. And this one isn't labeled, so I'm not sure. And this is some of the suede as well. It's just such amazing stuff. I love using it so much. All right, sound good? We're gonna like aim the camera down. We're gonna start working on this. And I was just wondering if I had rolls already kind of cut into of these. Let me look real quick so I don't start cutting a brand new roll. I know I have that one. Not this one. Yep, see? I already have one kind of cut, so I need to use the rest of this one first. And I think that's it. I am so unorganized over here, guys. Okay. <laughs> the yellow is called Butterscotch Kaya. Thank you. Butterscotch Kaya. There we go. Yes, this is Black Leopard. I think it's just water resistant. It's not waterproof. I got it a while ago from Weft and Warp. And I have a tiny bit left. Um, domestic friendly. Yes, it tends to be domestic friendly, which is fabulous. All right, I'm going to just kind of put the camera down a little bit so you guys can see what I'm cutting and we'll chat and cut. Let's do it. I am going to sit just because my feet are tired. So that's just what we're doing. Valley, your Kai scissors arrived. Yay, I'm so happy for you. That's fabulous. You will love them. They are amazing. Okay, so like I said, I already have my cute little flap. I just need the back part and I did cut it. So I am going to have a finished edge. I'm not doing the raw edge on it. Oh, that's the other thing I was thinking. I also thought this would be good for the inside, but I can't decide if that's too busy. This one or the more black one? What do you guys think? I'm not sure. Mm, this might be too busy. Okay, how was my holiday? It was really good. It was very fun. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think the leopard might be better. Okay, here we go. Da, da, da. So it's two exteriors, so I am going to do front and back. The black one, black and white, and the more black. Yeah, I think with all of these other colors I'm using, if I do black and white on the inside, it might be too much. So here we go. So I need to cut out one more of these. For the back of it. Leopard, leopard, yep. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it guys, don't worry. And because I'm doing a non-raw edge, well, even if I was doing a raw edge, the way she has you do it is kind of nice. So you do trim it down to be even at the end, but I think this will sew up nicely if I turn it. Too much is just enough. <laughs> I know, I usually am that way. <laughs> the more, the better, right? Okay, so there. <clears throat> Sublim subliminating cups right now. Yay, Gigi, that's fun. All right, so there's my front and back flaps. I will most likely, after I sew these two together, I will most likely cut out a Decaville light and put it down in there because I like my flap to have a little bit of a shape. Um, so I probably will do that after the back toe. Okay, so I think that's all of the purple I'm gonna use if I'm gonna follow kind of her color blocking here. Um, so now I need to decide which color, so this is my purple up here. Now I need to decide which color I wanna do underneath the purple. 
Um, I think I want to do the turquoise. I think so. Or the black. Ooh, what if I did black and then accented with the turquoise? Uh, I just can't decide, guys. Sorry. Let me see. I accented with that. No, I really like the black. But I think that's going to be too much. Mm. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I think I want the black underneath the flat, though. I think it looks the best. Okay. It's so hard to tell what is going to is going to really look the best sometimes, huh? And sometimes it doesn't matter. Either one would be great, and it is what it is. All right, so I've got my pieces here. Just a second. Um, exterior, exterior, exterior. Lining. Stabilizer, stabilizer. Oh, see, there is a flap stabilizer, so that's good. Walt pocket lining, back panel bottom, from panel side. Welt pocket. Hmm, there's a welt pocket in this. Exterior pocket. Exterior pocket. Ah, okay. So this is going to be a little bit different, guys, because it's got a welt pocket in the front, which is very cool. We'll see how I do on this. Um, Stacy, yes, it does, I believe, have a gusset. My vinyls are all from Indolove. Yeah, Charlie, I think I'll do a small accent of the turquoise. I think you're right. Yep. Okay, so my exterior pocket... It's two of these exterior pocket lining. So we'll see how this comes out. I have no idea. Let's try it. I don't know what I'm working with yet, guys. This will be fun. Um, I saw another question. Purple tabs would bring it. Yeah, purple would be cute too. All right, we're doing black, guys. We are doing black. I love this black too. It is one of my favorites. It's called Raven and it's from the Kaya line and it is so fabulous. It looks so good in person and it's got, got a little bit of a gray undertone to it. It's truly one of my favorites. Hi, Christine. Welcome. Hi, Elaine. Welcome, welcome. We're just, we're just cutting today. Doing a little cutting. All right, so it's just this piece like that. That's interesting. That's interesting. And I need two of those. Okay, let's do it. This way. A welt pocket is easy. I feel like I've done a welt pocket before from on one of Kaya Papaya's patterns. I don't think I've ever done one from Shambhala. So I'm sure we can figure it out though, right? Hi, Amber. Thank you. That's very sweet. Welcome. Are you getting any of the pre-order from Wonderground? Oh, did they recently have a pre-order? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I have a hard time keeping track of what I order, honestly. <laughs> it's a problem. 
Okay, so I've got two of that, and I'm guessing that's the front. I hope so, right? That's this front piece here. It's either that, oh no, I think those are the side pockets. Those are the side pockets, guys. Okay, that's all right. Hmm. I don't know. I think these are the side pockets. Right? Iris, hello. And that's the lining. Bottom strip, bottom lining, fold, one exterior, B. Ah, see, front center panel, that was that middle one. So this is the side pockets. Yep, this is the side pocket. So I can still use the black. I think the black would look cute on the sides as well. So that's fine. We're okay. We're, we're going to keep that. Um, but I'm also doing black on the front center because I really like that too. And front side. See? Okay. Okay. We're good. We got this, guys. We got this. <laughs> all right so let's do this one and we're gonna keep with the black because I really want the black underneath the flap we're just gonna go with it right Here's my exterior front panel center. Okay. <clears throat> Saw you use your, oh yeah, my new pinking shears. Yes, Melanie, they are fabulous. I do love them. It was a good purchase. Okay, so for this front side panel, you need to do some mirror images. Yeah, I was going to make the gusset this um, butterscotch color, actually. That was the plan, so we'll see if I still do that. I think the butterscotch might look the best. And then we'll do strap accents with the teal. I think that'll look good. Right? Right? Okay, so this has to be mirrored, which is why I folded it and I'm just cutting it at once because then that automatically mirrors your pieces, which is nice, okay. All right, so those are my front side panels and that made them mirror okay so that's cool so that goes you could even piece these differently but that's gonna go like that when you're all done with it okay at least I believe that's how it is okay so those ones are done and then am I done with this black I might be done with the black yep Right. Let's see here, my bottom, which I'm pretty sure is the gusset. <laughs> Let's hope I'm doing this right. Uh, uh, the joys of figuring out a pattern for the first time. Right? They match the gusset. Yeah, well, mine's not going to. We're gonna do it a little bit differently and I think it'll be okay.
All right, let's do this. And if I hate it, then I'll redo it. I don't know. Debbie, you like my plan? <laughs> it's kind of all over the place, but hopefully it works. So there's my bottom exterior with that. So the question is, do I do the back? Ooh, do I do the back in this or the black? I think I'm going to do it in this. I'm thinking it'll look best in this then it'll kind of match that gusset yeah let's do it i should have printed out more pictures <laughs> if it's not right then who cares <laughs> all the colors look great together yeah you know it's i guess that's why i'm not too worried about it i feel like no matter how i cut this it's going to look it's going to look pretty no matter what so i'm not too stressed I could even do the back purple if I wanted to. I don't know. I think I like this plan though. All right, so there's my back panel bottom. Perfect. What next? It's um, called Butterscotch Colette from Endo Love. I don't have any of my admins on here link right now. I'm so sorry, but I will have it all down in the description when I'm done. Okay, flap strip, which is gonna go on the back of the bag and back top panel. So I'm gonna do those all in this, although flap strip might look cute in the black, right? I might do that black. That might look cool in the black. Okay. Heidi. Oh, Heidi reached out to me, you guys, on here saying she would help me set up my projector. I am so excited for that. She's going to freak out, though, when she sees how messy my room is. <laughs> but I'm so excited for that. She's even going to let me record it so you guys can see how she does it. Leslie's here, but she's in a car driving, um, Margaret, so she can't really link very well right now, but that's fine. I'll have it all down in the description when we're done. All right, so that's my back panel top. Just made it matching with the bottom. And then... I want to do this in black, I think. Lining, lining, lining. Welt pocket strip. I'm not sure what that means. Um, but it needs to be exterior. We'll find out. And then these are all stabilizer and lining. Okay. All sewing peeps have messy rooms. Yeah, they do. This is true. Oh, did she link Endo Love? Awesome. I forgot. I haven't been looking, so I'm just not sure. Welt pockets are like slip pockets, so why would I need a welt pocket strip? That's my question. What, what's going on here? I'll find out when I put it together. Obviously, I haven't read through the pattern yet. So that is next. Okay. Oh, you use a seam ripper to open it up? Got it. Organized chaos is my preferred term. Yep. All 
All right, and then I have my flap strip, which is going on the back of my bag to cover that raw edge from the flap. And I'm gonna do that in black because I think it will look good on that mustard and purple if it was black. And we're just going with it. If I hate it, I'll cut out a different one. Okay, flap strip, done. It's like a zipper facing with no zipper, got it. Oh, that's right, I know what it is now, I got it. That was, that was a good description. All right. Well, then I don't know where that's at. I don't know if I've done it on the Bonnie. I may have skipped it. Okay. So. You learned it from me? <laughs> okay, then I have done it before. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, after doing so many bags, I forget what I've done and what I haven't done. That's funny. All right, so now we're on to my lining pieces. Stabilizers. Those are stabilizers. Lining. Okay, here we go. And I did print this out too, so I can just make sure I've got all my pieces. Flap strip. I don't see a flap strip. Hmm, I wonder if I didn't print that piece out. Okay. Yeah, I don't see a flap strip, which is the one that goes along the flap. So I'll have to look up the pattern. <clears throat> well, I'm excited to do the Walt Pocket. I haven't done it in a while, obviously. So... It'll be fun. All right, so I need two of these, which I'm trying to figure out the best way to use this piece. Will this fit? Yes, okay. Has to go on the fold, and this is my main lining piece right here. So I need two of these. Um, mine are on cardstock, my patterns. It just really makes a difference printing it on cardstock. There's one. Let's do another one. I'm not sure where. Excited to make this one. I think it's going to be gorgeous. All right, so there's my linings, and I'm dropping my pattern pieces here. So two of those done. All right. I just realized I didn't eat lunch, like always. I got too busy. I'm like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Uh, you have those days where you don't know how you're even like functioning. Yeah, that's me today. All right, so I've got this welt pocket piece, which obviously I'll figure out. I was thinking of sewing this one up on a live and doing the coloring caddy pre-recorded. We'll see. I'll read it over first. All right, 
right, so there's my lining for that welt pocket. I think I'm going to have just enough of this. And we need two of these, two of these, not quite. And one of these, I'll do this one right here. It's perfectly. I need to give my dogs a walk, but it's so windy outside. It's nice, but it's super windy now. Just can't win with this weather. Okay, so there's my welt pocket facing. Done. Karen, I'm sure there's chocolate, yes. I have eaten probably three Ghirardelli raspberry squares. <laughs> so I have had lunch. <laughs> so I'm good. <laughs> Who needs lunch? <laughs> yup. I have been doing that. That's probably why I didn't notice I was hungry till now because I'm full of chocolate. That's the truth. All right. to gusset lining pieces. Oh, I think I have another piece in there that I need to do. Just a minute. I know these exterior, exterior, exterior. This one lining. Exterior, exterior. Okay, so I need to do this one with the lining as well. All right. We're almost done. That's how, that's how quick this one is. We just have to do stabilizer after this. It's pretty easy. Doable, right? Her patterns are usually super easy to cut out. Especially after you do quite a few and you understand her pieces. They're very user friendly. exterior there <clears throat> and you are worried I wouldn't have enough leopard yeah I have plenty we are good on the leopard how did your mom do in the quilting show good her um her quilt looked gorgeous hanging out there it didn't win um, one of the big prizes, but it looked gorgeous up there. I should post a picture of it in the group. She was very proud of it. She's gonna, it's that, um, her same quilt will be in the Paducah quilt show as well. So she and Susan will be going to that. I think it's later. I think it's in May maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it is an accomplishment. She was working on that quilt for quite some time and it is gorgeous.
All right, two lining pieces. I think that's all of the material. Now we just have to do interfacing. Let me start heating up my press. And I have a tiny leopard print lap. Look at that. I could do a tiny wallet or a pouch with that. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, so I have to look up my my straps. So I still need to do my crossbody strap. I'm using um, my connectors that I saw on the website, those ones with the prongs that you just stick in the side. But we need a shoulder strap and it says flap strip, but I don't have that. I'm gonna have to go back and see if I didn't print it or this was the tester, so maybe it got left off of the tester. That could be it too. Um, what should I, I think I was gonna do the turquoise, right? Was I gonna do the turquoise for the crossbody? That might be cute. And I don't have enough on this. I have to open my new one, bummer. Let's cut this out first so I don't forget it. And then I'll go back and look at the flaps. Okay. So it's going to be a three fourths inch um, strap for this bag. So we're going to cut it three inches wide. Is there a cut chart with measurements? Um, well, it just says it only has measurements for the ones that don't have pattern pieces. And it says the flap strip, um, has a pattern piece, which I don't have. So I'm going to have to go double check that. And like I said, this was the tester version, so it may be something that got added that I don't have, so I'll have to. Heidi, of course I'm a Nuggets fan. My son David would disown me if I was not. <laughs> oh. I mean, isn't that a requirement of living in Denver? You have to be a Nuggets fan. This one says could do it a little bit shorter, but I'm going to do the full length, I think. We can cut it down later if we want, right? So, okay. So you should have two flap strips as well. I'll go back and have to do that after this. So many scraps. Oh man, you should see my room. I have a plethora of scraps. I need to do another clean out and just have some scrap packs. It's a lot. All right, and I want my other double-sided tape. Just a minute. this and go ahead and prep it. <laughs> Scrap packs. I know my goal is to go through my whole closet over there and weed out all the stuff I know I'm not going to use, get out all of my vinyl scraps. My, um, my friend slash helper Jessica has all of my zipper scraps and <sighs> threads, spools that are broken on the bottom and all of that, we wanna make big old packs with them, so. One of these days. 
Hello from Holland. Karina, hopefully I'm saying that right. You just you just collect them, Charlie. Same. <laughs> same, Charlie. <laughs> You know what? I used to have a hard time throwing away my scraps. I don't anymore. I am like, I don't need it. I don't want it. I'm not going to use it. Bye. I don't have an issue throwing them away anymore. But I know a lot of people actually do use their scraps, so I would hate to throw them away when they could be somebody else's treasure, you know? Sounds like a Susan job. <laughs> yes, it does sound like a Susan job. She's got too many right now. I'm loading her up, trust me. We're getting excited to do our first sew in the States. So we're getting geared up for that next month. She's got a new jingle written out. We just have to do a little video for it. It's gonna be so fun. All right, so I got my strap correct. Beautiful. Let's do my stabilizer. So I'm going to keep this down for those flap strips, but put the rest of these up and away into my pile. My never ending, you guys want to see my never ending pile here? Okay, so I did have this cleaned at one point. There's all my clear vinyl kind of sitting there. That is my unused faux suede Kaya's, right? And then that <laughs> is my, like, either I don't have a home for it or I've used some of it. Or I might use it. Yeah. It's a problem. It's a problem. Okay. And that's not even my closet. <laughs> that's not even showing my closet. All right. Here we go. My good old roll of Decaville that I absolutely love. Best purchase ever. Can't wait for the jingle, Stacy. Susan played it for me the other day, and it is kind of fabulous. <laughs> Maybe throw the screenshot of your bird hitting the window at the very end. That's great. <laughs> um, La La Palooza, that's just what's here. What's in my closet is a totally different story. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm better at getting rid of fabric scraps because I'm not a scrappy quilter, but cork and vinyl scraps, yeah. I have a ton of cork and vinyl scraps. Here we go. All right, so these are my stabilizers. I've got my gusset here. I'm just using my good old Decaville light. It's kind of my favorite, guys. It's just. And I mean, why wouldn't I use it? Because I have this huge roll <laughs> and it needs to be used. I'm telling myself I will not buy another mid-weight stabilizer until this one is all done. Let's see if I can do that. Charlie, my husband laughs because my organization includes an area for fabric I might want to use within a year. Charlie, I think that's a great goal. I think he should just be happy that you have a goal for it. <laughs> I think that's great. <laughs> oh my goodness, that roll is getting smaller. It is, I'm using it. It's getting smaller, for sure. My dogs are just laying in here waiting for their walk. I think if they stare at me long enough, I'll take them, which I probably will. <sighs> Leslie, if you are here, that 
New tag for liners. Uh, yes, her new tag is super cute. It is. I agree. My big old cup. All right. Here we go. So we got... Let's do our main bottom. So like our gusset bottom stabilizer here. Probably line that right up with the side, actually. You can't say no to dog's eyes, no. But I'll tell you what, I had an appointment this morning and I was gone for an hour and a half and I forgot to shut one bathroom door and Oakley had managed to take out everything in the trash and then she took off the toilet paper roll and tore it up all through the house. Like there was just like toilet paper scraps throughout my whole main floor. She's such a turd. Ugh. Pay me in snacks, Heidi. You are hired. I have so many snacks in my room here. <laughs> Done. You got it. This is my exterior main panel stabilizers. I'll probably have to attach those after the fact, which is fine, because they're gonna kind of be pieced a little bit. For 10 years, I never put toilet paper on the roll because my cats would just unroll the whole thing. That is Oakley, she's such a turd, she just, Kits into everything. Uh, oh. I hope she chills out eventually because she is one crazy dog. She's giving me more gray hairs than my kids. All right, so there's my front and back. Which again, I won't attach right now. It'll be in the process of making the bag that I'll attach those. Um, I could probably attach those two and I'll wait to attach my flap one because I'm going to be turning it through and it'll be super hard if I have it already attached beforehand. Okay, so let's cut this out. But she didn't get in as much trouble as your kids would have, Elaine. That is very true. I did throw her outside for a minute while I was ticked off and cleaning it up. And then it was fine. <laughs> I'm like, fine. I love you again. And we only need, you only need one of these because you're not stabilizing each one. Just in between it. Well, this says cut two, but I'm only cutting one because mine are both that faux suede. Um, if you were doing cotton or a canvas, I would do cut two and do it on both. But because of the way I'm doing it, I'm just doing one. Does that make sense? Hopefully. I just lost my fur baby. Oh, Carolyn, I'm so sorry. That's so hard. I don't even want to think about that. I'm so sorry. You can come have a dose of my fur baby. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. All that's left to do is fuse. Sorry for the shaky camera. Let's put you guys right here while we fuse those pieces. So I'm not doing my flap. I'm not doing my front and back. Just my gusset and my bottom. Okay, just these two. out and this so I have it set at 350 I like to warm it up on the top here and just get that you can always draw lines to make sure you're centering it 
exactly. I just kind of eyeball it usually. And then I just do small amounts of heat and pressure. I don't do the whole 20 minutes because that's too long for your vinyl. But make sure you have that protected with your Teflon sheets. And then I turn it to make sure it gets equal amount of pressure. And that's good, usually. And then let that sit, okay? Hi, Cynthia. <clears throat> Did I miss anything? There's my sister, my sister. Um, Susan, I was telling everybody that you came up with a fabulous new jingle for our Sewing the States and that it's gonna be awesome, right? There we go. And then I just need my side gussets here. 20 minutes. <laughs> Did I say 20 minutes? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. <laughs> yes. All right. Where are my side pieces? Wait, did I cut out front center panel? Lining gusset. I didn't have gusset pieces. Did I? That's weird. Unless I just, nope. Panel, front center. I have no gusset pieces, so I, oh wait, lining, okay, that's weird. I wonder if this is supposed to be, um, say, exterior as well. I bet it is. Like I said, this was the tester one, so... I bet that's what that is. You cut out gusset. No, I cut out the bottom piece and I cut out a gusset for the lining, but I didn't cut out a gusset for the exterior. So I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be exterior too. So we're just gonna do that real quick. And if I'm wrong, I'll change it, but I think that's what it is. All right, so I think... Yeah, no, I didn't cut it out, guys. I know I didn't. I think the pattern piece is labeled wrong, which is probably fixed in the final one, but. No, I didn't. I just did the back, the top panel, the bottom, and the side pocket pieces. Nope, I don't have gusset pieces in this. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do it in the mustard because that's what color the rest of it is. So let's do it in the mustard. What's the piece right by your cup? It's the stabilizer piece. I'm pretty sure I didn't do this, guys. So I think it's just because this was a tester um, version and, oh, let me look at that. Where's my piece? There it is. Do, do, do. So exterior gusset top too. Lining gusset. Yeah, it says right here, exterior back pocket, bottom. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be what it is. And if it's not, I'll fix it later. I'm pretty sure this is right.
makes me feel normal. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes you feel like you're losing your mind, but I think um, that's the joy of getting these tester ones that it's not always correct. So I think that may be just left off. And if I'm reading this completely wrong, then we'll find out too, right? <laughs> One way or the other. <sighs> The only thing that makes sense to me, though, because usually whatever you have on the lining, gusset-wise, you have on the exterior. So this is what makes sense to me. All right, so I got my two gusset pieces. Put that up. All done. Ooh, I put it in the wrong spot. Whoops. And then we'll fuse these and be done. That is why they have testers. Yes, Charlie, it is. That's what I'm saying. I'm sure this got all fixed in the original or in the final print, and I just haven't um, I haven't checked to see if she sent me the other copy. Yep, yep, yep. I'm sure it is all fabulous in the version that came out because her patterns are usually perfect and there's never anything missing. And sometimes it's just user error. It could just be me and I could be misunderstanding. So we'll see, we'll see. And then I like to turn them. And I'll press and we will be done for now. There we go. Okay, I think that's right. Yep. There we go. That's it, guys. That's all we got. I've got all my pieces cut out. That's it. <laughs> um, all right, so I will probably, I'm gonna take a look at the instructions on this one and make sure I understand all the steps before I attempt a live with this one, but I think I will sew this one up live. It may be a two-part video because it looks like there's quite a bit different things involved. And I'm going to pre-record my coloring caddy and hopefully that will be coming out in a few days. So that's there to look forward to and any questions, guys? Any questions for me? Now's the time to ask. <laughs> oh, Valley, oh, thank you so much. All right, guys. I'm going to go eat some food and take my doggies on a walk. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>